Marlene Hassan-Nan says she has been hearing stories from health workers about poor morale since she became an MP in 2015, and in that time has spoken to hundreds of individuals. She says working in a high-pressure environment with poor hourly rates has had an impact on morale, and after the Unite-led demonstration, this cannot be disputed by anyone. In a statement following the walkout, Ms. Hassan Naon said she believes the GHA is being degraded by ill-thought-out policies and bad management and backdoor privatization of the care service. To make matters worse, she says, this privatization process has been executed in a manner that is less than transparent, which further raises concerns as to the motivation behind this traumatic policy shift. In answers to questions from GBC, Ms. Hassan Naon points to specific instances she claims to have seen with her own eyes, which are evidence of working conditions having a direct impact on patient care. Among these, she lists long waiting times in wards when patients buzz for attention, poor standards of hygiene being adhered to, and poor communication between patients and staff. She praises the Minister for Health for always having dealt with her complaints diligently, but points out that the system is clearly not functioning properly and that there is a real risk of these issues becoming systemic. The independent MP says that, as well as low worker morale, there is a grave lack of communication between management and staff, which has also led to declining standards. Ms. Hassan Naon says privatization prioritizes revenue above patient well-being. And in Gibraltar, we are getting all the disadvantages of privatization without any of the benefits, i.e. a competitive market capable of generating consumer options. She says a genuinely publicly run and funded health system is the only way to ensure that every penny goes to patients and not to a private business that staff have adequate working conditions and that qualified professionals scrutinize standards of care. She suggests this should not be too much to ask from a government.